I'm Susan O'Dell. Welcome to the Food L Kitchen. Fish can be cooked a number of ways, but there are three good standbys that you want to know about. One is pan frying, which is what we're going to do now. The other is baking, and the third is poaching. So let's have a look at pan frying, and we'll do the other methods in different videos. First of all, you don't want to do too much to fish. You want to let its flavor stand on its own. So something mild, a nice little mild sauce with it is always good. I've got some olive oil that I'm going to use to cook the fish. I've got a little salt and pepper that I'm going to season both sides of my fish with before I cook it. I've got some lemon and just a little bit of butter. That's it. That's all you need. I like to use a non-stick pan when I'm cooking fish just because it's delicate and I don't want to use too much oil and I don't want it to stick to the pan either. I'm just going to use a little extra virgin olive oil in my non-stick pan, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan so that my fish doesn't stick. I've got it over, oh, about medium heat. And as soon as my olive oil gets hot, I'll add the fish to it. Once your fish is seasoned and your oil is hot, just gently lay it in the pan. You want a nice sizzle. About the only thing you can really do wrong with fish is to overcook it. It cooks very, very quickly. My filet is not even an inch thick, so it's only going to take two minutes per side to cook all the way through. As in any protein that you cook, take it out of the pan after it's cooked and let it sit for just a couple of minutes to finish cooking through to the center before you serve it and eat it. So whenever you're cooking a protein, there's always one side of the piece of meat or fish that looks better than the other. In the case of fish, it's always the side that did not have the skin on it. Put that side down in your pan first because it's going to get a nice brown coating on it. The first side that goes into the pan always looks prettier when it comes out. That's what we call your presentation side. So one thing you can do on a nice delicate piece of fish to see if it's getting done is to look at the sides. It'll start to cook and become more opaque as it cooks and you can see it creeping up the sides of the fillet. It's been about two minutes and I think I've got a nice brownness on my, uh, my first side so I'm just going to gently turn the fish over. That's gorgeous. You don't want to mess with the fish too much once it's in the pan. You want to cook it on one side, turn it, cook it on the other side, and that's it. I'm not going to flip it back and forth. So if you look at the side again, I can tell that my fish is really just about done. It's getting nice and firm, not too firm, and it's starting to pull apart just a hair, and it's becoming white all the way up the sides. If you have a particularly thick fillet and you're worried about the center being cooked, you can always turn down the heat and cover the pan for just a minute or two right at the end of cooking, and that makes sure that that middle center will be perfectly done. I'm going to add a little bit of sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of butter. I'm going to let that melt, and just a little bit of lemon. That's really all you need for the perfect piece of fish, a nice little lemon and butter sauce and we're ready to serve. All right, my fish is beautifully done, nice and hot. I'm going to spoon a little of this lemon butter sauce right over the top and voila. That's dinner. So you can see why I like to call fish a true fast food. In about four to five minutes, I've got my main course all ready to go. Bon appétit.